over somebody that you are graced to drink the cup. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Every cup, every cup that you have been graced, the seasons that you had to handle, nobody else in your family could have handled, nobody else in your generation could have handled, nobody else that endured what you endured could have handled. And God told me to release this morning over you that you had been graced to drink the cup. Come on, you cannot, you cannot refute the cup in this season because the cup is necessary for your elevation come on except you drink the cup you cannot be elevated come on elevation comes by way of us drinking the cup and for some of you you've been trying to rebuke what God has decreed and declared that you're supposed to drink but I came to encourage you though the cup may be bitter the, come on, the cup is necessary and God has graced you. Come on, for every single thing, oh, Randa Messiah, that you need to drink the cup. Tell somebody I decree and declare and know it's powerful. They might hurt, though I might endure seasons of pain and discomfort that God, hallelujah, that God has graced me, that God has great, that God has literally graced me to drink the cup. Nobody else can handle my warfare. Nobody else can handle my pressure. Nobody else can handle my suffering. Nobody else can handle my discomfort. Nobody else has the power and the anointing to weather the storm as God as propelling me to handle, come on, my cup. You can handle your opposition. You can handle your oppression because you are anointed to drink what everybody else would die from. I mean, I, I mean, I have no, I have no words. The way this room shifted, you don't want to miss next Wednesday. Everybody, put this in the chat. You gonna live to see it happen. Cause you're gonna live to see it happen. You're gonna live to see it happen. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta go there. 
It's a PVC pipe. You see, I have a garden, right? But I was going to be gone a few days. And I had someone to take care of the dog, but now I'm concerned about my gifts. So Lord, what about the garden while I'm gone? So I took this inexpensive PVC pipe and I took the hammer and I put it down. See, God done gave you some tools. Work with the tools. Those are your gifts. Mm. I took the hammer and I put the PVC pipe down into a five gallon container where I had planted my veggies. And what I did, I poured water, Holy Ghost. I poured water into the pipe. And with that, it multiplied the amount of water that the plants would get in my absence. Woo! He gives it to you. He gives you what you need so you can work it in his absence. Because guess what? The word said, he's going to return. He, he's coming back. He's coming back and he's coming back to see what you have done with that which he's given you. If he gave you some greens, they got to be watered. And listen, the thing that he talked about, there's a continual drip because it's a process. You can't just stop there. That's why on his site, you will see the things that God has called him to do. What, why are you here? What are you supposed to be doing? What God does is make sure you get that continual drip. He keeps on pouring into you so that when he comes back, he will see the thing that he's placed in you multiply. Listen, you it'll be like baby's kids. They don't die. They just multiply. Listen, when he comes back, he'll see your children saved. He'll see your grandchildren saved. He'll see your community off drugs. Let him multiply inside of you because he is coming back for that thing which he has planted in you.